What better way to kick off the majorettes of March than the OGs themselves, the GGs themselves, Allcorn State University, Golden Girls, let's go! What up, y'all? It's time for the majorettes of March, where we celebrate and honor the HBCU majorettes. This is powered by the Underrated Report. Tap in, new issue coming soon. And today is all about Alcorn State University's GGs, Golden Girls. Yo, we are giving away a free I Am Black History hoodie. If you're interested, why don't you just put I want it in the comments right now. At the end of the week, we're going to do a drawing and see who wins. If you want to get yours before then, just tap the link in the bio. We got a few on the site and we got a 25% off sale right now. Tell me something. Who better to rock with the sounds of dynamite than the Alcorn State University GGs, the world-renowned Golden Girls, founded July of 1968 by the late Samuel Griffin. The Golden Girls, aka GGs, were the first dance line to perform as a featured squad with choreographed movements to an HBCU's marching band. In the fall of 1968, the world-renowned Golden Girls made their national debut in Miami, Florida during the Orange Blossom Classic. Gotta mention some names. I'm talking Gloria Gray. Ray Liggins, Mardine Bingham Boykin, Dolores Black Jenkins, Patricia Gibbs, Barbara Heidelberg Fox, Paulette McCain Moore, Josephine Washington Parker, and Margaret Bacchus Wilson. I hope I said y'all names right. Please forgive me if I didn't. These women made history as the original eight golden girls. According to records and folklore, if you want to say that, no one had ever seen a female dance team perform during halftime of an HBCU game. And the silence fell upon the crowd as the eight original women came out and they took the field. All Corn State Golden Girls continue to mesmerize sold out crowds during the halftime shows at university games and in step with the tunes of the university marching band. These ladies have yet to disappoint and the current Golden Girls carry on in stride. The alumni, they call them the legacy. And the legacy say that these young women are carrying on the vision. Last year, they held trials in April. So if you're interested, be on the lookout for that one. Shout out to you, Golden Girls. We appreciate you. And thank you for watching. Get your free copy of the Underrated Report and let us know if you want a free hoodie. Just put I want one in the comments. Never forget black education is black excellence. So we're going to keep this thing going. Who's next?